Hello, this is Stefan from Lush and Salty Aquariums. I'm standing before my 120 gallon reef tank. It's evening, the blue lights are on, the fish are uh, still quite active, but soon they will be going to bed. And when they do that, I'm going to introduce a whole bunch of copepods into this tank. Copepods are little invertebrates, crustaceans. Um, they're very small and they're an extraordinarily good source of live nutrition for all the creatures on the reef, but in particular for my mandarin goby, who really only likes to eat live food and actually struggles with just about any other kind of food. So I do introduce copepods about once a month into this tank. They don't last very long. I cannot find the goby right now, but they are among the most beautiful and interesting fish an aquarist can get. They're relatively inexpensive. The drawback is, as I said, they are hard to feed. I've had mine for about a year and I attribute that success to copepods, which I am going to show you now. I have got four bags of live copepods that were sent to me from Aquarium Depot. It's a great website, especially for live fish food. They have corals, and I do buy some of mine from them, but the big attraction is once or twice a month, they offer a buy one, get one free on these little creatures. It's kind of gnarly, but you can see them swimming around. They come in a floss where they just sort of stick into it with some salt water. And what I'm gonna have to do is introduce all of these into the tank, which I need to do at nighttime. Otherwise they will promptly get eaten by all the uh, fish and not the mandarin goby whom I especially bought them for. The way I'm going to do this, and I'm not going to videotape all of it because it's painstaking frankly, is I'm going to um, pour all of this content out into this Tupperware container and then I'm going to let a bunch of the pods separate into the salt water and then the ones that stay on these pads, I'm just going to literally go squeegee into the tank, hold it over the tank with the power heads off so there's no flow or current and let these creatures swim into the live rock and uh, they will make their home there, but not for long because that mandarin and everything else is going to be at them like flies to caca. And um, this is just one of the things us fish nerds do when we're keeping a reef. Um, these are about 25 bucks for a thousand or so. And then like I said, Aquarium Depot uh, has a deal where you can buy one bag and get the other free. So for like 50 bucks, I got, I don't know, four or 5,000 of these things. Um, it's a, pre a pleasure to do this for my fish. Um, I suppose it's kind of nasty that I'm doing it on the kitchen table. If my wife watches these videos, I'll probably get a talking to, but I'm pretty careful. I'm going to do it in the sink and I don't want to lose a single one of these creatures. So I'm not going to be sloppy about it. I cannot really show you them going into the tank because I don't have the camera equipment and plus this will be dark and so you won't see anything anyway and these power heads will all be turned off so there'll be no flow and then the pods will go and find themselves home into all the rocks and crevices. Now many will get eaten by these different corals. They love it. It's good for all of them but I've got foods for all of them, and so it's the Mandarin Gobi, who, uh, and if I could find him, I would.
would show them to you now. That seems like the thing to do. There's my spiny sea urchin, the clownfish who hosts the power head up there. Um, the wrasses are swimming about. A number of them will bury into the sand shortly. And you can see the fish already finding their respective places to shelter for the evening. All right, everybody. So tonight I'm gonna have my hands in the tank and uh, thank you for watching. Please subscribe.